sometimes we get asked, hey, what size pre-screen I should use? Um, it depends on the type of material and what you want to do. Two options you can do with an R5. You can scalp out your material, so whatever goes through your pre-screen can scalp out and doesn't go into your main product. The other option is everything can go into your product. Um, with that, the size does matter. If you're screening off a 65mm mesh, you need to make sure that you have a pre-screen of smaller than 65. That works for 40 and 20 as well. If you don't, if you have too big a pre-screen punch plate, you, for example, a 65 and you're crushing down to 40, you'll get a lot more returns come through because they're falling through and not going through the crusher box. So that's just a bit of an explanation on the size of mesh or punch plate that you need to use on your pre-screen. Making sure it's smaller than your end product is the main important thing and making sure that you're taking out as much of that product that you don't need to put into the crusher box, meaning that you're reducing your wear and reducing your cost per ton. Hopefully that's helpful and if you have any other questions give us a call at Equip2.